Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I just want to show you how to set up your Left 4 Dead game with EMB and Sweet Effects. Now you can download the files that you'll need through ModDB. I will leave a link under the video here in order to get those. And once you're at ModDB, you just want to click the download now in order to download the files that you'll need. Now once you've downloaded those files, you just want to open the file that you've downloaded. And you can minimize the browser. And what you want to do is open the game folder. Now there's two ways of opening the game folder. And I'll show you the longer method first, which is you go through this PC, C drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps common and you'll find your Steam games there and you would just open the Left 4 Dead folder. Now the quicker method which can be used with any of your Steam games is just open up your Steam list and select the game that you want to open. Then right click and say properties, local files and browse local files and that will open it to the game folder directly. So once you have the game folder open, you're just going to drag and drop the contents from the download into the game folder here. And that's basically it. Now what you want to do is you want to start your game and make sure that it starts and runs correctly. If you have any issues with it starting, whereas it just doesn't start, or it gives you a crash on start, then what you want to do is go back to the game folder here and open up this Alt D3D9 folder. Now once you've opened that, you can select one of the four D3D9 DLL launchers to replace the existing one. And you would just copy it, and then you would paste that over top of the existing one here, replacing it. Then you want to start the game and make sure that it's running correctly. And again, if it doesn't start for you, then you just want to go back to that Alt D3D9 folder and switch between those D3D9 DLL until you find the correct one for your video card. Now once you've done this, if you want to make any Sweet effects settings changes. You can go back to the game folder here. Now you don't alter the sweet effects settings text here. You actually go to the sweet effects folder and the presets, and you'll find the settings file of the Left 4 Dead 2 text here for the sweet effects. And you would just make any of your alterations to this file here. Now one thing I like to do with my games is add the game exe to clean mem and if you're unfamiliar with clean mem I will leave a link to the actual setup video for that and how to add your game exes to the list. Now if you already have it installed then all you have to do is go to the game exe and you want to copy the name here. And then what you're going to do is go to your clean mem and just right click and start the clean mem settings wizard here. And what you want to do is go through to that only list that you would have created. And then you just want to click the plus, paste in that game exe name and say OK and that will add it to the clean mem. Just click next and finished and it's all set. Now at this point one other thing that you want to do is when you start the game you want to turn off your in-game anti-alias as that will actually cancel out the sweet effects effects and you can do that by just going to your game and once you start it up you want to go to the options video in advanced and then disable the in-game anti-alias. 
and then everything should work correctly. Now you normally use the pause break or the scroll lock when using these in order to enable and disable the effects in game and I believe for this one it's the pause break. So once that's all set you can close off the game folder and the download and just run the game normally and you shouldn't have any issues. Now if you have any questions or concerns please let me know in the comments below and I'll try and answer them as best I can. Please leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, take care, and I'll talk to you again.